Disney's Newport Bay Club at Disneyland Paris. Uh, we've never stayed here before, have we? No, first time, and this is an absolute bucket list hotel. We've always wanted to stay here, yeah. haven't we? Um, so what we'll do, we'll do a room tour and a resort tour for you to show you what it's like, and also um, at the end of our stay, we'll give you our review. Should we start at the door? Yes. So we're staying in a um, superior room. It's on the ground floor. Um, and as you come in, you've got a full length mirror to your right here and then that way is the bathroom but we will do that in a moment because let's show you the main bedroom we've got um two double beds um we absolutely love the nautical theming in here don't we and look the yeah have a look at the bed how cool is that it's so nice and then up here on the border We've got Captain Mickey up there, and then around this way, got Goofy. So, oh, let's Pluto look. Pluto. <laughs> I think Donald's in the corner over here. So, it just looks really, really nice. There are anchors on the lights, but they're on at the moment, so you probably can't see those. Um, and there are an anchors and a compass on the bed as well. And and things it looks very nice um in the middle of the beds we have got a um bedside table with a phone um and just access to lights no plug sockets over there if i turn you around we've got the tv here with an ice bucket and some disposable cups all wrapped up nice and hygienically and then here um they look it looks like six drawers but it's actually um when you pull them out, yeah, it's three big ones and they're very deep. Um, so yeah, lots of storage space there. Um, this chair here um, folds out to be a sofa bed if you've got more people staying in this room. And then over here, you've got this really gorgeous dressing table and a chair here, a bucket chair. And then if we look inside, this little compartment here. Um, we have actually got some plug sockets here, got some um, European plug sockets and also um, a UK one there as well. And because we are on the ground floor, we've got a little patio area, which I'll show you. So here's our patio area. Well, we've got one chair. <laughs> and then we're actually quite close to the um, pool. So the outdoor pool is just there beyond those trees. You might hear some people having some fun in the uh, outdoor pool. It is a glorious day today. And we're right on the end of the hotel. So around this corner, you can't get out this way. But yeah, that's the very end of the hotel. So here we are, here's that little terrace. Let's go and check out the bathroom. I just found this hidden compartment uh, in this dresser and there's an extra plug socket in there which is mm, always handy. A hidden plug socket. Well, it's very mysterious. If you've seen our vlogs before, you know we love, <laughs> we love our plug socket. We do. Oh, and I think I spotted another plug socket underneath there as well. Mm. Okay. So probably a few more than in Sequoia Lodge. Let's have a look at the bathroom area. Okay, so as you walk in, got this huge mirror and those lights are really lovely as well. It's really bright in here. Um, this is the hairdryer over here. And then we've got sink and then um, some space for storage down there. Some tissues and soap and some towels. And then if I turn right round, this is kind of like the wardrobe area. We haven't unpacked yet, we've got our cases there. We have this um, kind of bench, which you can put things underneath and on top of, obviously. Um, some hangers here, and also some hanging space on 
a little bar down there as well and above there is a iron and ironing board and I think that's a pack and play as well up there and then a safe and then if we go through the door we've got a nice um, shower here and a bath which looks quite deep actually and then if we go around the door here that's where the toilet is I'm loving the different shades of blue on this border. It's very nice. And then there are some towels as well. Yeah, looking pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and another thing that I really like is the carpet. So, yeah, I really like this room. What do you think? I love it. I've seen photos of it and it just doesn't do it justice. It's lovely in here. Yeah. Um, so should we have a, go and have a look around the hotel? See what we can find? Yeah, we've already seen, we've walked past a very, very nice looking shop. Yeah. So we'll be going in there. <laughs> But um, yeah, and the, the check-in area was really lovely as well. Okay. And the cast members are amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go and see what else we can find. today aren't you yeah <laughs> you look very handsome <laughs>
we've come to the end of our stay. It was only a quick one night stay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's it's still been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a really, really nice hotel. It's got a lovely atmosphere and everywhere's nice and clean and the cast members are lovely. And yeah, all of the theming and everything is just really, really nice as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, like we said earlier on, we had a ground floor um, superior room, which is like the standard room with two double beds. Um, and we were so comfy. We had so yeah. much space. <laughs> the, the rooms are big. Yeah. Um, so if there were sort of four adults sharing a room, if you were sort of family or comfortable doing mm -hmm. that, um, it's plenty of space, isn't it? Definitely. It's the the rooms are so much bigger than at the Santa Fe and the Sheyenne, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's really really comfortable. Um, and the lighting's really nice. And it, yeah, it's just a really comfortable room, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the shower was lovely. Um, we had a bit of an issue where ours didn't stay up, so it was slide, sliding down, but we just did the handheld and it was fine. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure most rooms it would stay there. Yeah. Um, and um, we had lovely big bath towels, mm -hmm. and which is also a thing, yeah. isn't it, that we like to talk about, and um, the lovely big bath towels. Um, yeah, because when we stayed at the Santa Fe and Cheyenne again, they were really small. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but these ones are really big. Yeah, and we had that before at Square Lodge as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, all that was lovely. Um, we used the toiletries, which were really nice. Yeah. Um, in the room, the plug sockets, there were, there were plenty, as we showed you, um, but we did have a problem with the ones that were sort of the concealed ones, so mm -hmm. under the mirror um, and in the little cabinet um, where the, there wasn't quite enough space to get the plug in where the, with the lead yeah. and things. So there were certain things that we couldn't plug in those. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just something to bear in mind. Um, but in general, it's been lovely. It's been lovely and quiet. We haven't heard anybody, no. um, but we are like right on an end. So whether or not uh, we would have heard more people, we, we haven't got a lot of foot traffic really have we passed our room no um but yeah it's just been really really nice hasn't yeah. it yeah um the other thing that i really liked is um the character meet and greets were really fun so good um and yeah and on in the evening now which like suits us a lot better doesn't it yeah and it does avoid um making the reception area really congested in the morning and um we saw two different characters um, just because we kind of saw a character that we went in the shop and then by the time we came out it was a different one so yeah. so that was really nice because normally long, it's only one isn't yeah, it? Yeah it's quite a long slot I think it was between 7.30 and 10.30 mm -hmm. obviously if you've got little ones whose bedtime's before that it's not going to be great for you no. um, but whether they change it back so they have um, the characters out in the mornings again sort of once things start getting a bit more back to normal we're not too sure but um, our interactions were amazing the yeah. cast members were amazing as mm -hmm. well um, just yeah it's just been really straightforward even from sort of getting here we obviously got here before our sort of check-in time um, and we were sort of you know everything went really smoothly they had everything prepared it was super quick wasn't it yeah and we just um, they gave us our magic passes so obviously we could show those um, so that we didn't need park passes with our annual passes and um, we just dropped our, our stuff off at, at the guest luggage and mm -hmm off we went to the park so that was super easy and um, we were we did have to show our, um, our health pass um, prior to entering the hotel yesterday and they did give us these sort of um, sort of paper bracelets um, which obviously shows that once you're in and around the hotel that sort of you've already had your health pass checked and um, so we haven't had that checked again even when we went to pick up the luggage when we when we got here mm -hmm. after we'd been in the parks um, we did think it might um, clear was for not showing it on the way into Disney Village as well but they did check our health yes. again there so I think it's just for the hotel. Yeah I think it's because um, in France you need obviously you need your health pass for um, like lots of different types of venue and in this hotel you've got the, the hotel itself but also um, the swimming pool, the restaurants, um, the sh you know things like that so I, I think it's so that you don't have to show it at the swimming pool and then again at a restaurant and then you know yeah. I think I think that's the idea of making sure that you just do it once and then you're fine for the hotel and obviously um, I'm assuming that today um, no one will want a health pass because they'll see that we've got the bracelets on so I suppose um, I'm not sure whether it lasts the entirety we stay so they don't have to keep asking you every day as well yeah. um, I'm not sure how much that works because obviously people who do need testing um, you know might need 
and are more up to date at health pass because yeah. it's every two days so we're not really sure um only staying here one night we couldn't really test it out but yeah um it's worked for us hasn't it yeah um the other thing that I was going to mention was um, they did actually send me a text message and an email to tell me that the room was ready and that was at 11.35 when yeah. we were in the parks. Um, so that it had our room number so we didn't have to go back to um, the reception area at all really. We just went straight to the room with our magic passes and it all worked, didn't yeah. it? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that we've forgotten. Yeah, I think we just wanted to stay here longer. Um, we yeah. really wanted to use the pool, um, but yeah, we just didn't find the time, did we? But if we were to stay here longer, we definitely would have used the pool. There were lots of people using it, um, the indoor and the outdoor pool, um, which did look really, really nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, and also um, the restaurants, only one of the restaurants is open at the moment. Um, but yeah, we didn't again we didn't eat here we just got a quick bite from the village it was really really quick and easy just to go and get something that was quick service yeah um but yeah we'd love to try that one in the future wouldn't we yeah we definitely want to stay here again it's just beautiful the location is amazing the cast members are all wonderful mm -hmm. um and it is just it is just feel like a, a bit more of a luxury stay yeah um and yeah we would 100 percent recommend it based on our own experience um but yeah thank you so much if you um have watched until now yeah. um and thank you if you've been watching our vlogs as well we have had the best time in the park so if you haven't seen our vlogs yet and um, please do check those out we've been in both parks for uh this is our fourth day and um yeah so it's just it's been amazing so they'll you'll find all those on our channel right now um yeah and if you are having a little look at this video to see where you might want to stay we have stayed in most of the hotels here at disneyland paris and also an off a really close off-site hotel yeah. as well so please do check out the rest of our um resort um room tours and and reviews uh, they'll all be on our channel as well and if you have found it useful please do subscribe to our channel give it a like and put those notifications on so then you'll get to see when we next upload a video Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.